I think it's called Puerto Rico. There's a lot going on. Like, okay, so Tony Hinchcliffe's whole show is is shitting on guys who bomb, and this is this is what he's doing. So people shit on him, and Luis Go- Gomez is like, "Hey, they, you can't do that." That's a, that's Tony Hinchcliffe's whole fucking life. That's his everything. Watching people bomb and then shitting on them, and this is what he does. And people are like. Hey, and then he blamed the the national anthem. He blamed uh, nobody has a sense of humor. Uh, he's he's starting to look more and more like Neil. A lot going on. Like I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Again, normally I don't follow the national anthem. Right, right. It's the song's fault. It's not his fault. It's not a bad joke. Got to blame Francis Scott Key. It's not a bad. It's not. It's never his fault. But if he was, uh, if if he was on Kill Tony, and bomb with that joke, everyone would be like, "You stink!" And he'd be like, "No, it's a." Uh, how about if, if some guy bombed on Kill Tony and he blamed? the act before him or his song before him, or they brought me out to a bad song. I mean, this guy's, he's such a fucking coward. It's unbelievable. Uh, Meanwhile, the only floating island of garbage I see is standing right behind that podium. Literally, I've never found him entertaining at all right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Even Cumia doesn't stand by this. Oh, Cumia is saying, Listen to what Comia said on Twitter. You can go there right now. Let's see. I think, and then Louis J. Gomez says, comedians, comedians piling on to Tony should be ashamed. We make jokes. That's what we do. Also, most of the comics talking shit are terrible comedians who don't actually work. Wow. You mean like Dave Smith, who works nowhere? And Lewis acts like he's one of these like great comics that's like has Lewis ever been booked on a fucking national stand-up show? Has he ever been on TV as a stand-up? I don't think so. And all his friends are, are doing bigger and better things. He still does fucking uh uh gay shows with Zach Amico and, and Dave Smith. Literally, I mean, it's fucking pathetic. My here's Anthony Comey. My take on a whole Tony Hinchcliffe story is my take on the whole my take on the whole Tony Hinchcliffe story is I think people's Trump's people were idiots for adding him to the list of speakers, knowing that the Dems and the media were positioning Trump's rally as a Nazi hate gathering. Just handing them this kind of fuel days away from the election was a tremendously stupid move. Hispanics are very large. Voting block. Trump has been getting great numbers from them. Maybe it blows over by election day, but not by pre-screening Tony set, knowing what his comedy is all about. They dropped the ball here. Trump, Trump packing. Anyway. Well, I I, I kind of have to question that because that's coming from someone who wants, he wants Trump to win. Kumi is a huge Trump guy. Yeah. That's why I'm that's why I'm saying it. He's he's actually saying it's dumb for them. Usually he's dick riding everything they do. So he's actually saying it was a dumb move to not fucking screen the thing. To not like, say, oh like my... okay, what's your set gonna be? I mean it's probably apples and oranges, but it's like what a lot of my progressive friends said after Biden did that debate last summer and he completely tanked on that one a lot of them started he's man he's the, he has dementia the Biden uh, has I dementia i don't know about the i think i don't know about no, the no, no, we're not doing politics we're talking tony hinchcliffe and anthony oh. cumia anthony cumia is we don't do a political show that's why i'm successful so the, ah, the point go. is uh, uh tony hinchcliffe's whole show is about Watching people do stand up and then and then shitting on their set, so that's everybody's what he's doing. And Louis J. Gomez is like, "Hey, he's just a comic telling jokes. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what people do on Kill Tony, and everybody shits on him, right? 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 Louis, haven't you done that show? You fucking coward, right? Rattlesnake, anytime, any place, you fucking coward. What a fucking coward. That's what we do. We're comics. We tell jokes. You ever and watch Kill the- Tony? 
Everyone's and killed Tony Lewis. That's what they do there. And everybody, everybody doesn't pay them that due respect. They shit on him. And that's what everyone's doing to your boy, um, Tony Hinchcliffe, who bombed. Who bombed. Everybody's talking about it. How'd that go, Lewis? You fucking bitch. Why don't you fuck another open micer? And comics like Don't him. Don't fuck another open have... micer, Lewis. That's what you do best, right? <laughs> you can't get any gigs. Tommy Nicky ain't get you any gigs. He gets you shitty one-nighters. All your friends are doing theaters and arenas. And Lewis is like, hey, I did Skankfest. Give me a parade. What a fucking piece of shit. Do another gig with Dave Smith and fucking gay Jay Okerson. And a lot of the comedians who would say criticize me for going after Hinchcliffe, but like they they'd have no problem piling on me if I ever had a bad set or did something or said something. They would have absolutely no problem coming yeah, after all, me. But I go after it's, someone it's, they it's, like. It's comics all... are comics are so they're such cowards. It's it's you can, yeah. listen. There's not enough words for for how cowardice they are. But Lewis is like, leave Tony alone. He's a friend of mine. He's a great man. He shits on open micers left and right, and people have a problem with his material. He's like, no, he, that's what he does. He makes jokes. And right, I'm not reading any $2 Super Chat, so that's a fact, Jack. Uh, Tom, you know I'm a fan, so no shade, but there's a show with an audience that leans right. If Kumia recommends you to, to the Gutfield Booker, you'd go on and make jokes about Hillary and Ted Kennedy, right? I would never go on gut fill. By the way, Misery Loves Clips has been on point with this shit, dude. He might be better than Doom. Oh, of really course. Good. Of course. <laughs>